Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. My name's Kevin, and uh, this is a herd of goats. And they are eating the hay like crazy this year. So uh, what we're gonna talk about today, I've been getting a lot of emails and questions about the goats and stuff, but one of the questions that comes up that we really haven't addressed yet is, how much hay do goats eat? Now, that is a uh, question that I can't just come out and answer. Um, there's so many variables to the equation. So, for instance, over here on this herd, uh, about half of our mamas over here started having babies. Now, when they have babies on the ground, of course, their nutrient uh, intake is going to need to go up, so they start eating more hay. It's winter time. That's normally when most people feed hay. Um, luckily, we have two nice big pastures and a lot of browse for them to eat in the form of weeds, leaves, grass, all kinds of that stuff. But since it's winter, you can see everything's pretty much brown. They pretty much got to rely on hay. And of course, we do grain feed them once a day. But uh, right now, this herd is going through one round bell, a big round bell, a five by six, I believe they are, in dimensions. They're going through that in about 14 days. And right now, they're actually out over here in the barn. And uh, we got some bad weather coming this week. So that's another variable. Um, are you in a climate to where it gets below freezing all the time, to where they got to eat a lot more to maintain that energy to keep warm, or are you, you know, in South Texas somewhere, or Florida or California where the climate is more stable and kind of on the warm side, to where they don't have to try so hard to uh, stay warm. They're not going to consume as much, but. Since they got the babies on the ground, of course they're gonna eat a lot more than usual because they're actually taking in nutrients for themselves, but they gotta produce that milk to feed their babies. And most of these goats have twins. So uh, this year we did buy a few more round bells than we have been in the past because just about every year we run out towards the end. So I was like, well, this year let's buy like four more. We actually have less goats than we did last year, but we only got three round bells left and it's still early February. And here in Oklahoma, we have been known to have some cold and some extreme winter uh, weather well into March. So we're praying we're going to make it. It's really not a big deal because here pretty soon uh, we're going to turn them loose into our big field. And there's still a lot of dead grass and stuff that they can uh, eat. We have access to some square bells. Uh, I probably won't buy any more round bells this year. Even if I have to start feeding them a, a square bell a day, it's not that big a deal. We do have access to that. So I'm gonna go get the uh, Kubota L3300 fired up. That's the smaller tractor we have that has the bell spear on the front end loader. And uh, I gotta distract these guys or I'm not gonna be able to get into the barn, especially with all their babies. So what I'm gonna do is I have a tartar feeder set up out here just for this purpose. Cause like I said, every two weeks, we're having to put a new round bell in here on this herd. And then as soon as we're done over here, we'll go talk about the other herd we got because that is a whole different situation and their intake of the hay bale is different. So uh, let me go grab a bucket of feed, get these girls fed. Well, there's a bunch of baby boys on the ground now. Get them fed out here. I'll lock up the barn and then we'll grab the tractor and load them up a hay bale. You guys have no manners. You guys would move, I'd feed all you guys. Hey. Alright, so what we're gonna do is uh close the gate off keep them out and I do hear some of the babies in the barn come on crown them up days <laughs> they'll join their mama there we go Oh, 
You can figure it out. <laughs> Just about too big to squeeze through there. Alright, so you can see I've eaten this whole hay bale, but this bell feeder is ready to be loaded up. So I'm going to get this gate to the barn opened up, go grab a hay bale, and we'll be right back. I just got the gate closed up and you can see they were waiting on this hay bale like I said guys right now there's not a lot of green everything's pretty much dead there is some green weed starting to sprout but not enough to sustain them so they have to rely heavily on this hay bale until starts uh, until spring comes around and things start greening up a little bit more but you can see how they're going to town on this hay bale already All right, so we're over at the other herd, the other pasture. I went ahead and loaded up another bell. And I got another bucket of feed because we gotta distract them or we're never gonna get in the gate. All right, goats.
All right, guys, so uh, got the second bell loaded. And of course, these turkeys are going to make noise every time I try to talk. But uh, let's talk about the Pygmy Kiko herd and how much hay they go through. So this round bell is the same size as the other one, and it'll last them anywhere from five to six weeks. Now, remind you, these are a smaller breed goat. They're more of a medium-sized goat. So, of course, they're not going to eat as much. Uh, we got a little bit less mouse over here to feed as well. So uh, we got 14 goats over here, including the two babies. They're not going to eat much hay, but they are starting to nibble on it some. So that's just one more thing to consider when you're trying to uh, calculate how long your uh, hay bell will last. It's, it's very hard, but the size of your goats and the size of your herd, how many head of goat do you have in that herd? And uh, one thing I cannot express enough is make sure you get rid of this hay wrap. Um, I know I say this in every video I make, but for all of you new people that's tuning in, don't ever leave this anywhere around your pasture, anywhere on your place. If you can, uh, the best thing to do is burn this. Even if you throw it in the trash, it's going to end up, end up in a landfill. And uh, this stuff is, is a hazard for birds and all kinds of wildlife, but especially your livestock. You don't want this laying around. You don't want to leave it on your hay bales because even a piece just like this, your goats will try to eat it. Uh, especially the baby goats are really curious right now they'll start nibbling on it and uh, get it in their mouth and these little strings come off and rip off really easy but it's plastic and if that gets down into their throat or even makes it to their stomach or the rumen it can get all twisted up it can choke them and uh, it can cause all kinds of problems I know several uh, cattle farmers and horse farmers has lost livestock due to this stuff so be super careful with it make sure you dispose of it properly. I usually like to burn it. I don't like throwing it in the trash or anything else because I just know it'll end up somewhere else in the wind. It blows real easy. But anyways, so let's go back over the variables of hay consumption with goats. And cows might be a little different. Uh, other animals are going to be different, of course. They're bigger animals. But with our experience on goats, the Kiko Spanish herd over there are a full-size goat. We got the adult goats and then several babies that are starting to eat the hay one bell will last two weeks now remind you most of those are mamas so they're eating a little extra right now but that's a good uh, rule of thumb last year uh, we had more goats and one bell lasted three weeks so you just never know um, it can go off the quality of your hay if you have a very poor quality hay with low protein they might have to consume more to get the energy they need or the nutrition if you have a really high protein like alfalfa, um, they might consume a lot less because it doesn't take as much as that quality to uh, meet their nutritional needs. Now, uh, second thing is weather and climate. Uh, here in Oklahoma, you never know. One day it can be in the 60s, which is, a, I consider, a nice mild winter day here in Oklahoma. But like tomorrow and then all next week, we're going to have sub freezing temperatures it's not going to be above 32 degrees for three or four days and there's a chance of snow and all that so what that does is that will uh, make the goats want to hang out and congregate in the barn and they're just going to lay around and eat a lot of hay instead of going out and kind of browsing around eating leaves and eating some grass which kind of fulfills them a little bit so if you got times like that if you live up north in minnesota where it's snow all the time you're probably gonna burn through a, I'm gonna guess, a hay bell a week if you got, say, 20 head of goats. So that's just some things to consider. Just hopefully that answers some of your questions. If you guys have any more questions, you can hit me up. Um, I know dairy goats, we used to have dairy goats. We used to feed them an uh, alfalfa square bell and they would uh, eat that up, but dairy goats are made to be milked. <clears throat> So their milk production is way up there. Their bodies are continually making milk. Same thing with dairy goats. So they're gonna consume a lot more as well. But one thing you wanna make sure is have the loose trace minerals out 24 seven for them. Make sure they're getting the amount of copper they need. If your area is deficient, you can use the copper bolsas like we do, shoot them down their throat and they're good to go for three to six months. And uh, always have fresh water. I can't preach that enough. Fresh water is the number one thing for anything living pretty much any anything so uh it's number one key to uh having a healthy life so anyways guys i'm gonna wrap it up i got some more stuff to do around the farm before this cold front moves in and brings all the nasty weather if you guys are not subscribed i ask you guys please uh, subscribe to the channel leave us a comment like this video and let me know uh how much 
how much hay do you guys go through and where where do you live if you guys got goats or buffalo or cows whatever you got sheep let us know how much how many head of uh animals do you have and how much hay do you go through so uh stay tuned and we'll see you next time guys